Rangers have called for SPFL Chief Executive Neil Doncaster to be suspended following the governing body's vote on how to end the season. The Ibrox club say a whistleblower has provided them with allegations that the vote on how to end the Scottish Championship, League 1 and League 2 was not carried out fairly. A Gers statement read. We have been presented with evidence via a whistleblower that raises serious concerns surrounding the SPFL's processes relating to its stewardship of the voting on the resolution presented to member clubs. Rangers Football Club Statement, https colon slash slash t dot co slash ovb 8 kk 7 yfjpictwittercom slash oxp 2 f 5 qea Rangers Football Club, at Rangers FC, April 11, 2020 Rangers Interim Chairman, Douglas Park, attempted to discuss this evidence with SPFL Chief Executive, Neil Doncaster, who initially refused to do so. The SPFL followed up that call with an email, which we believe was a thinly disguised attempt to silence legitimate concerns. Rangers will not be bullied into silence. We believe it is in the interests of all Scottish clubs and supporters that the evidence, which is alarming, be addressed as quickly as possible. The voting debacle and the evidence we possess raise serious questions concerning the corporate governance of the SPFL. SPFL Chairman Murdoch McLennan was concerned about Rangers' allegations and has called on Douglas Park to show him the evidence. It is extremely concerning that Rangers have chosen to make a number of very serious allegations against the SPFL, its corporate governance, its culture, its office bearers and its business operations, McLennan said in a statement. In the often heated atmosphere of Scottish football, rumour and misinformation can very quickly reach fever point. However, allegations of a lack of even-handedness and fair play go to the very integrity of the league and I would expect Rangers interim chairman Douglas Park to present compelling evidence to back up his claims, or to withdraw them. I anticipate that the SPFL board will convene early next week to discuss a wide variety of issues and I will be writing to Mr Park asking him to urgently communicate any and all information he possesses in order that their board can take whatever steps are necessary. The Scottish Professional Football League's contentious proposals are currently resting on just one championship club that failed to vote by Friday's deadline, leaving the future of Scottish football up in the air. Under the plan, if the Scottish Premiership fails to conclude, Celtic will be awarded their ninth consecutive title with the SBFL scrambling to deal with the coronavirus impact. They submitted a resolution on Wednesday that would see the immediate curtailment of the Championship, League 1 and League 2 campaigns. Not only would the season end at those levels, but the same points per game earned system used to decide final positions in those divisions would be replicated in the Premiership should the SBFL board decide COVID-19 will prevent its resumption. The body received 39 responses as of 5 p.m. on Friday, with 85% in favour of the resolution, but three clubs failed to make their stance known. The SPFL achieved enough votes in favour of the resolution in the Premiership as well as Leagues 1 and 2, despite the fact a club in a title failed to vote in each group, but the decision hinges on a missing vote from a championship club. Eight votes are needed in favour in the second tier and the current figure is one shy, with seven for and two against. Dundee are widely reported to be the team that did not cast their vote and on Friday warned the current proposal will see member clubs cumulatively have in the region of pound £3.5-£4 million of lost revenue. An SPFL spokesman said, It is very important that clubs consider carefully the resolution and we are grateful to those clubs who have voted already. With the Ladbrokes Premiership and Ladbrokes Leagues 1 and 2 divisions each having approved the resolution, we await the voting slip from the one Ladbrokes Championship club that has yet to vote. We will provide an update as soon as we are in a position to do so. It later emerged that the outcome of the vote may not be known until May. The 5 p.m. deadline was not enforceable, 
with clubs apparently having 28 days to respond under league rules. Aberdeen chairman Dave Cormack said in a statement, We feel strongly that the SPFL board should not have asked member clubs to cast a vote on this resolution with less than 48 hours notice, especially when these resolutions allow for 28 days. Nine supporting votes were needed in the Premiership and Aberdeen confirmed they were one of the ten clubs at that level voted in favour, with two teams team against the motion. Hearts would be relegated if the season could not be completed and had made their intention to reject the proposal public, as had second play strangers. Prior to Saturday's statement, the Ibrox Giants warned on Wednesday that there would be severe consequences for the Scottish game if the resolution passed, while they labelled plans to relegate clubs abhorrent. Celtic are line for another Premiership title if the currently postponed season could not restart and these proposals pass. The immediate impact of ending the other three divisions would see Dundee United promoted to the Premiership, Wraith Rovers would move up to the Championship and Cove Rangers would join League One, with Partick Thistle relegated to the third tier and Stranraer to the fourth. Across Leagues 1 and 2, the 15 votes required to pass the motion were met despite one club's failing to vote. The SPFL recorded 16 votes in favour and three against. Let's block ads. Why?